So hello guys and we're back for a Pioneer Deck Tech and this list that we're going to feature for this video is from the European Championships that was done and held recently and just, just this weekend and it is one of the not necessarily a top 8 finisher but probably one of the uh, peculiar regular deck updates with the uh, record of uh, 10 wins and more so this one is the list with uh, the transmogrify deck uh, archetype by Igor Titov that is from the European Championships the colors uh, goes with that of uh, Mardu and uh, we're going to explore what the list or probably compare the updated deck list with now that we have some Wild Soul Drain updates on this build so we have uh, 9 creature artifacts too uh, 9 enchantments, 24 lands, 11 sorcery, and uh, 12 instants, and the only 2 creatures that you can transmogrify with, which is Atraxa, Grand Unifier. And also we have some 15 sideboard, including a companion card that is Giganta, the Wellspring. So we're going to again check what is the deal with the transmogrify card. So this uh, M21 or Corsair 2021 uh, Red Rare. With the 4 mana cost, where an exalted creature, the, the controller reveals cards from the top of the library until they reveal a creature card, and then the player puts that card into the battlefield and shuffle the rest. So what this deck would uh, uh, go around with is that they would just basically control the board, develop some card advantage until they are now open to cast a transmogrify to one of their uh, creatures generated from this build and uh, basically uh, cheat out on Atraxa into a play. So what the controlling aspect of this uh, deck goes with the cards under the sorcery list and also that of the instance. So you can see here we have several discard effects uh, starting off with four copies of Totsi. So this is now still a generic uh, one mana cost uh, discard spell for every black based uh, decks in Pioneer. And it's all supported by two copies of Jurex. So Jurex will now be able to discard a non-creature, non-land card from your opponent. So it's also going well with the uh, one mana cost, uh, 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 casting cost. And uh, we also have a copy here of Dead Boar, which is now uh, more of a spot removal effect that can kill off a creature or a planeswalker. Now for your instance, I mean, we have, uh, of course, the four copies of Fatal Bush, which is again the generic uh, Spot removal for a 1 mana cost in Black Beast decks. This is now supported with Spike Field Hazard, which also acts as a mana land or I mean a drop for a land for Spike Field Cave. But more generally, can just go with a 1 mana, a 1 damage to any target, can exile them. Uh, this would particularly go with uh, the Thalia uh, killing her early on so that she would not be able to tax the rest of the spells of the deck. And we also have a copy of Go for the Throat for any non artifact uh, target creature that needs to be destroyed. Uh, one copy of Shoulder's Edict that can uh, fend off uh, sacrifice effects for a token or non token or a Prince Walker from your opponent. And we have two copies of Volcanic Spite. This would also go that can deal a damage to a creature, a Prince Walker, or battle, but you may also uh, put a, an unnecessary card from your hand on the bottom river and then you will draw a card in that setup. And we have also two copies of Warping Whale. This is still uh, Eldrassi or a colorless mana instant that can have these effects that can excel the creature with power or toughness one or less. It can counter target sorcery spell or it can produce a 1-1 one -one Eldrassi Sion that would be needed for the transmogrify target. So with that setup for the 12 mana cost, uh, 12 instants on this uh, build, uh, we have also some support cards in the form of Artifacts uh, like our Buckbuster, so this is still good to be added here in the deck. You can also produce later on a token that can be uh, targeted by Transmogrify. We have uh, three copies of Tribute to Horobi. This would be a unique uh, setup in this deck because it just gives off your opponent a uh, black rat to long creature token. But once you get to exile this one and flip into the Echo of Death's Will, you will have this effect that it is. Uh, having to be a 3-3 flying haste and there's another field field gain control of all of the rat tokens that you have given to your opponent so whenever echo of death's whale attacks you may surprise another creature if you do you will draw a card and also of course four copies of fable of the mirror breaker 
creating tokens with the form of the Goblin Shaman and also doing some shenanigans, hand fix and the uh, copies effect with the reflection of the Kikijiki. And of course, uh, two copies of the Clone War. This also goes well to uh, taking the good card or a creature, gaining control of it as it enters the battlefield or as it remains is very necessary in some of the matchups in the format. Can also it can sort to add to be a sweep effect because of this ability that it can uh, have the top creature deals damage to itself equal to its power and uh, there's the instance that you would have your opponents attack each combat if able so making sure that you can have this effect but uh, at the same time you can be able to gain control of their most relevant creature depending on the scenario now for the mana fix since again i mentioned that it is uh, going with the uh, mardu uh, colors so we have four black with pathways uh, blood creeps we have a copy of cascading cataracts that can also add mana in combination that maybe for an instance that you would need to hard cast your atraxa and we have a copy of the manland uh, hive die tyrant also three copies of merix that can also produce these tokens that can be targeted by transmogrify some basic lands okay three copies of itable also that can also act as attackers and the uh, transmogrify targets a copy of skensan which can also produce this colorless period creature tokens uh, four copies of sulpura springs and a copy of a swamp and of course the dead marches with uh, a copy of orbord that can have your the rest of your lands uh, fixed into swamps now for the quick setup on the sideboard this goes that uh, we have a specific uh, mana housing uh, spells that can also go uh, with the matchup against uh, mid-range and control so first off is two copies of Rending Valley, this is just uh, going with the humans in the spirits match up as a support in a very cheap uh, casting cost that can fend off their aggro early. We have the additional copy of Edek for any needed sacrifice effects. Uh, two copies of Balancing Surge, I think this would go with uh, the EZ Phoenix match up and other graveyard based shenanigan deck archetypes. Two copies of Go Black, which is also good against Phoenix decks and against uh, mid-range uh, control and other uh, sp uh, deck that can uh, be relevant in the mid-game and or up to the late-game and we have two copies of Hitsugo Consumes All that goes with the uh, Black Red uh, Saga that can destroy each non permanent with mana value one or less that goes with the, also destroying the Witch of uh, Cat Oven combo can also exile the graveyard so any shenanigans that could return them would uh, be uh, dwarf and then it would become a vessel of the all consuming that has these abilities that putting some sun counters and dealing damage to the player even if it has 10 or more damage dealt to that this turn they will lose the game and additional colleagues command for any support uh, card that can destroy artifact having your opponents discard a card or destroy deals to damage to any target and we have also two copies of Omnicillus the adversary uh, that is also going to have this casualty X that can create a copy of it but the relevant uh, purpose here is that it can become a consistent uh, life loss and discard uh, uh, setup by having this plus one that you can have your opponent uh, lose little life unless they discard a card then if you control a demon or devil you will gain two life and they can also of course uh, create a 1-1 one -one red devil teacher token that can be targeted by your transmogrify spell and of course additional copy of crown war this goes with the matchup maybe with the mono red or i mean the mono green uh, devotion since they would uh, easily ramp up to your best uh, high-end creatures and you would just basically steal them or gain control of them uh, as you have this uh, card and that's pretty much it for this uh, deck tech uh, last but not least are your color, color contribution and uh, average mana cost that is 2.39 this color, color curve is basically going well with uh, 2 and 3 mana value uh, the cards here for the color would suffice with the mana fix so for black we have 22 producers red is 24 whereas for the black uh, cards 18 and red would be 15 with some of the rest of the cards and tokens and the extras we have nine 
basically create a copy a devil token blessed scion goblin shaman prection might pilot uh, treasure token spirit token and rock robe token for this deck so that's pretty much it for this this is the your transmogrify pioneer update from the recent european championships if you want to check this one for any playtest in your mtg online account just let me know in the comments or if you uh, any uh local game store playtest also we can have a good uh, discussion of this or any changes that you might have or need to have in uh in how this deck would pull out or we can have some changes in the main deck and sub them in the sideboard so again guys thank you for checking out this tech tech pioneer video and see you on the next one